Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, it is just afternoon, I've just checked. <laughs> Um, so before the ceremony, ceremony begins, um, we have a few housekeeping points. Um, mobile phones, if you have a mobile phone, can you make sure it's turned off or on silent? Because um, we do have some interesting ringtones at times, so it uh, maybe interrupts things a bit. And regarding photos, we do have um, an official photographer here today. So during the ceremony, we ask that you refrain from taking any photos However, after the signing of the register, there will be plenty of opportunity to take photos of a couple. Um, and um, in terms of social media, um, Becky and Sam have asked that um, you don't post anything until they put their, their um, stuff they want to put onto Facebook, etc. So probably after the end of the day, but you'll see their um, announcements, etc. So if you'd refrain from posting anything until they have, that would be very helpful. I'm sure they'd like that. Um, and now I know that we have a beautiful bridal party waiting. I just want Clive to let me know if everything's ready. And uh, would you please then stand for the entrance of the bride? <coughs> Good afternoon everybody and a very warm welcome to this lovely venue, Ockenden Manor, for Sam and Becky's special day. Before we start, I need to tell you that the place in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. And we are here today to witness the joining in marriage of Samuel Peter Eglinton and Rebecca Grace Healy to celebrate their love acknowledge their union and support their commitment to one another while surrounded by the people dearest and most important to them. So would you as guests now please take your seats. I hope everybody's found the seat. <laughs> so it's an ancient custom that the bride is brought to her wedding by somebody particularly close to her, whose duty it is to give her into the care of her future husband. And today this happy duty falls to Norman, the bride's father. And so I ask, who brings this woman to be married here today? I do. Thank you very much, sir. Would you like to take a seat? I'll have a little feedback. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Very nice. Now, before we start the ceremony, we do have a reading. We have two readings today by both mums. <coughs> the first reading is being read by Debbie, Becky's mum. So, Debbie, would you please come forward? That's lovely. As you are the moon of his life, he shall be your sun and stars. Your love shall be ever present as those two celestial bodies, even though they are sometimes hidden from one another's sight. 
Your love will be the guiding force that charts the course of your tomorrows, holds your world together in difficult times, and will make life itself shine bolder and brighter than we human beings have a right to dream of. Thank you, that was lovely. Now, the civil marriage ceremony is largely unchanged since it was introduced in 1837, and it requires that a couple affirm their intent to marry, declare they are free to marry, exchange rings, and finally contract their marriage. And now we'll take the first step, and I'm going to ask each of you a question in turn, and Sam, you'll go first. So, Sam, do you take Becky to be your wife, to be loving and loyal to her for the rest of your life? I do. That's lovely. And Becky, do you take Sam to be your husband, to be lo loving and loyal to him for the rest of your life? I do. That's a really good start, so I think we've got a wedding here today. <laughs> <laughs> now before you are joined in matrimony, I have to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows you are about to make. Marriage in this country is a union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. But more than this, marriage is intended to provide the love and friendship, help and comfort, which each ought to have for the other, both in times of joy and times of hardship. And marriage is a partnership in which two people make a commitment to one another. And a successful marriage calls for honesty, patience, and a good sense of humor with caring partners who are above all the best of friends. And I'm now going to ask each of you in turn to declare that you do not know of any lawful reason why you should not be married to each other. And traditionally in marriage law, gentlemen go first. So Sam, would you please repeat after me? I declare. I declare. That I know of no legal reason. That I know of no legal reason. Why I, Samuel Peter Eglinton. Why I, Samuel Peter Eglinton. May not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage. To Rebecca Grace Healy. To Rebecca Grace Healy. So Becky, would you also repeat after me? I declare. I declare. That I know of no legal reason. That I know of no legal reason. Why I, Rebecca Grace Healy. Why I, Rebecca Grace Healy. May not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage. To Samuel Peter Eglinton. To Samuel Peter Eglinton. Oh, that's lovely. I did it. And so we've now come to the part of the ceremony where Sam and Becky are going to exchange their rings. Now, the wedding ring is the ancient and traditional way of sealing the contract the couple are about to make. And a wedding ring is an unbroken circle with no beginning and no end and symbolises the everlasting love and loyalty that will bind their new relationship. They are traditionally worn as an outward sign of the promises that are made here today. Now, I believe the rings are in the safe hands of both Phil and Jess, so whoever has the, the um, bride's ring, I'm not sure, I don't want to get this wrong, so can you please pass that to um, Sam? So Becky's ring to Sam first. Thank you. So, Sam, would you like to place the um, ring on the tip of Becky's finger? Mm -hmm. Okay. And remain standing, hold, hold hands, that's lovely. And <laughs> if you'd repeat after me, Sam, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. And as a symbol. And as a symbol. Of my love and commitment. Of my love and commitment. Now, put the ring all the way onto her finger. Oh, it's a bit hot today, isn't it? <laughs> it there that's lovely <laughs> <laughs> that bit okay now whoever has um sam's ring to becky yeah. phil thank you Did a good job. it's a relief that isn't it when you've got the ring <laughs> <laughs> so becky would you like to place sam's ring on the tip of his uh, finger and um and repeat after me i give you this ring i give you this ring as a sign of our marriage as a sign of our marriage and as a symbol, as as a symbol of my love and commitment, of my love and commitment, and then put that onto Sam's finger. That fits well, doesn't it? Cool. They fit lovely, beautifully. Those <laughs> don't they? That's great. And so the time has come for Sam and Becky to contract their marriage 
Before you, their witnesses, guests, and the registrar of marriages. Sam and Becky, all your hopes, dreams, and aspirations are now brought here to, to, on this your wedding day, and we hope that the feelings of love you have will deepen and grow stronger throughout the years to come. In each other, you have found someone who touches your heart and your soul, and someone to stand beside you through all that life has to offer. And now you are going to say your final marriage vows to each other, and these are the words that will make you husband and wife. So Sam, will you please repeat after me? I, Sam. I, Sam. Take you, Becky. Take you, Becky. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I promise to give you. I promise to give you. My love and friendship. My love and friendship. To support and comfort you. To support and comfort you. To care for you. To care for you. With love and patience. With love and patience. To respect and cherish you. To respect and cherish you. And to be faithful always. And to be faithful always. These promises. These promises. I make to you. I make to you. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. Lovely. And Becky, will you please repeat after me? I, Becky. I, Becky. Take you, Sam. Take you, Sam. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. I promise to give you. I promise to give you. My love and friendship. My love and friendship. To support and comfort you. To support and comfort you. To care for you. To care for you. With love and patience. With love and patience. To respect and cherish you. To respect and cherish you. And to be faithful always. And to be faithful always. These promises. These promises. Are made to you. Are made to you. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. It's lovely. Sam and Becky have now begun a new. You've now begun a new phase in your life together. You have both made the declarations required by law, and made a solemn and binding contract with each other. And we hope the feelings of love that you have for each other will deepen and grow ever stronger throughout the years to come. May the rings that you wear be a constant reminder of the vows you have made today. Your promises today have been witnessed by your family and friends and the Registrar of Marriages, and it therefore gives me great pleasure to declare you are now husband and wife. And before we do, would you like to take your, a seat here to be comfortable to listen to this lovely reading? You need to hold each other's hands for this bit. Oh. So, to take each other's hands so that you may see the gift that they are to you. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief temporarily comes to you. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will tenderly hold you, the hands that will join your family as one. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it support and encouragement to pursue your dreams and comfort you through difficult times. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness, just a touch. Thank you very much.
So I'm now going to hand you over to Jackie, who's going to guide uh, the couple through the signing of the register. So please talk amongst yourselves while the official signing takes place. Thank you. That was that was good. I've got that voice for it today. So, ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention now? That, so that concludes the formal part of this ceremony. So thank you all for being here on this special day for Sam and Becky. But before they take their first steps as a married couple and lead you out to continued celebrations, can I ask you to stand and join me in wishing them every happiness for their future life together? So ladies and gentlemen, it gives me very great pleasure to introduce the bride and groom, the new Mr. and Mrs. Edlington. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 